Quaker Valley has already punched their ticket to the Penguins Cup Final, but who will join them? Is it Mars or Thomas Jefferson? You'll find out next here on Trip Tunnel Media Hockey Night. It's a PIHL Hockey Night in Pittsburgh. Trib Total Media presents another hockey night on the PIHL Network, featuring scholastic hockey in Western Pennsylvania. Hockey Night is brought to you by Trib Total Media and produced by Rabino Productions. It's a great day for PIHL hockey. And now here comes Bo Heekins. Heekins with a head of steam, leaving it for Mazzotta. Mazzotta with a shot where Pepe makes the initial save, and he's able to hold on. There will be no rebound. Schwartz over to Master. Master not quite able to get that one out. There's a shot right there on goal, and it's in! Nick Tambori has opened up scoring for Thomas Jefferson. It is 1-0, and the Jaguars with the early lead. Nick Tambori, the X-Factor for the Thomas Jefferson offense in 2013-2014. This one will be found by Mason. And up ahead, here's Tommy Kimmick. Kimmick on a one-on-one. -on -one. Kimmick with a shot, and he scores! Tommy Kimmick had one man and the goaltender to beat. He beat them both. It is 2-0 in the first in favor of Thomas Jefferson. The stars and bars are flying in the TJ student section, and the Jaguars are off and running. They have the 2-0 lead, and Euler center point to Mason, and they have a power play to boot to begin. As right there in front, it's Zach Euler who puts in the power play goal just 18 seconds into the period. 3-0 Thomas Jefferson. Tommy Kimmich just put a camel through the eye of a needle, setting up Zach Euler for the UPMC Sports Medicine power play goal. Gets it over towards Nick Tambori. Tambori to the left point into Delenko. Puts that one towards goal and Spring able to glove it out of the atmosphere. Mazada in deep, but it comes out now to Mason. Mason with the shot around McCann. That one just with enough zip on it to get to Spring. Centering pass right there in front! And with the goal! A brilliant one from Tommy Kimmich off an even more brilliant assist. It is 4-0. And the Mars Planets just got a taste of their own medicine as TJ runs the backdoor play. Thomas Jefferson, penalty number 16, Tommy Kimmich. So Mars, oh dear. Now that was a very pretty goal from a very odd angle. In the immortal words of one of my other broadcast partners, John Penline, the sports junkie, ew. That was just sick by Nick McCosey. But for the time being, here is Hout Graves. Graves with a shot where Pepe making a slightly juggling save with 4.06 to go in the second and a 4-1 lead for his team. Here's Kolakowski now. Good backside pressure put on by Krieger, but Kolakowski still getting the shot off where Pepe out to play the angle and makes the save. To McCann. From the right wing circle, there's a shot. Thomas' shot won't go. Right there in front, chipping away at it was Mouse. And Rapepi makes all the saves. And of everything, there's Keaton Hanna taking the shot. Makozi now below the goal line. Taking it over to the opposite wing. Looking to set up Keaton Hanna. Heekins was tied up. Mazzotta was not. As he finds the puck and blasts it in. The captain makes it happen. And that's one of those moments in life where you see something in front of your eyes happening in slow motion and yet you can't do anything about it. Ahead towards Maust, but it's Thomas with it. Thomas to Maust! And he's denied once again by Rapepi in the net, going completely off its moorings. Nick Rapepi was playing the game of a lifetime, and the game of a lifetime will lead to the opportunity of a lifetime. Thomas Jefferson is heading to console. Uh, Zach, what impressed you the most about your team this evening, knocking off a team that had been to six of those things in a row? No, we just, uh, we really wanted it. Everyone was saying we couldn't do it, and, uh, you know, we came out and we did it. Uh, we fought through it till the end, um, you know, and we've been known to come back at the end of games, and this time we were fortunately up in the game, and, uh, you know, we gutted it out. Um, you know, we went down a guy for a little bit there, but uh, we came up, we all came together, everyone, even the guys that weren't on the ice at the time, and we, we did it. How far has the chemistry between you and Tommy Kimmich come? It's come far, you know. Um, this year we haven't played on the same line very much together. Um, but when we have been together, you know, it's been working. Uh, we know where each other are, and uh, we finish. So it's been really nice. Take me through the power play goal that made it 3-0. Um, you know, we, we settled it down. We wanted to slow the pace down a minute. 
and uh, we worked it around. Uh, I think Brad threw it down to Tom. Tom threw it to the middle, and it was, you know, he put it on a platter for me. I just had to tap it in. Has it sunk in yet that you're going to get to play on NHL ice? No, uh, not yet. <laughs> no, like I said, everyone doubted us, and that just makes it feel so much better that uh, this program came from an 0-14 team to, you know, going to the Penguin Cup final to play Quaker, and uh, so we're going. So it's happening. For all of us here at the PIHL Network, for my always brilliant partner, Matt Popchock, our producer, John Rubino, and our executive producer and commissioner of the Pennsylvania Interscholastic Hockey League, Ed Sam. I'm Chris Paginski saying so long from the RMU Island Sports Center, and thank you for watching. Trib Total Media is a proud partner of the PIHL. Trib Total Media, get it right now. Call 1-800-909-TRIB to subscribe or visit us online at triblive.com. This PIHL Network presentation was produced by Rabino Productions, serving the community in ways you haven't imagined.